everyone welcome to another motor vlog on my channel my name is marshall 3498 in today's motor vlog what i'd like to talk about is something typically motorcycle related as it usually is in my channel and that topic is uh, about the uh, yamaha uh, fjr 1300 uh, from 2016 to 2020 model of the after uh, recall of the transmission update um, those of you who aren't aware of, I'll start by saying um, uh, the 2016, which that's what I'm writing, 2016 uh, Yamaha FJR 1300 had a transmission recall on it from 2016 to 2020, depending on when the bike was made in 2020, uh, if it's made in the later part of the year when the 2020 bikes are made then it's not affected but if it's it's a certain thing online uh by the, according to your VIN number uh but the 2021 yamahas uh they're being made have the recall already done on them from the factory they changed the part completely and what it entailed was is uh you take your bike to dealer and at to pull the motor and the transmission as assembly because uh most modern uh japanese bikes the transmission and the motor share the same case they're bolted they're all in the same case uh but both have like you know i think i believe on the fjr's the old pan and the transmission pan are basically all one piece together it's just like a divider or something that separates them um but basically what it tells was what was happening is the uh, second gear under uh high speed load which means really running the bike up uh on the upper rpm red line what could happen was is the second gear uh gear could uh fail and uh partially crack or something and make the engagement of the other gears it messes with uh not good and essentially lock up the whole drive train from the transmission back um and that's a big uh safety recall uh, i mean it's not a deal breaker uh for you know yamaha's longevity uh, every big bike manufacturer has certain recalls. Some are worse than others, uh, but the 2015 R1s, when they first did the a whole big redesign of them, uh, they had the same problem as well, and Yamaha fixed that. Uh, and that recall, like most recalls, is uh, at Yamaha's cost, because it's no cost to you, just inconvenience without your bike for however long it takes them to fix it and get it fixed. Uh, I was lucky enough, uh, the Mountain Motorsports in Greenville, Tennessee, and East Tennessee area. The mechanic that did my particular bike had never done one of these before. No, that's kind of scary to think I was the first, but he has done uh, several, if not up about a dozen of what the service rider told me at uh, Mountain Motorsports. He's done about a dozen of the R1 uh, transmission recalls. And it, it's the same procedure, basically pull the whole assembly uh, motor and transmission together and uh, flip the motor upside down and start to work on the transmission. I was told that Yamaha would reflash the ECU as well uh, to limit power in second gear. That was also part of the recall. And the uh, 2000, I think it's 2013 through 2020, there's also a front brake light switch recall. Switch goes bad um, here uh, when you hit the front brake lever. Um, Either the brake light's not going to work or it's going to stay on and when the system sees that the brake light is on and thinks the brake is on and that in turn will disable uh, cruise control completely and not allow it to engage. Uh, the dealer that I, I, I took uh, my bike to a couple there for a couple uh, little odd and end stuff just mate, regular maintenance stuff to be fixed and uh i'll leave the link in the description of the name of them and try to link their website if anybody in the knoxville bristol tennessee area kind of where i'm at yeah if they have a yamaha fjr that they need their recall done and for a mechanic they trust to really do a fantastic job uh i'm thoroughly impressed but actually when i did pick my bike up just yesterday i'm filming this a day at like a little over a day after um Apparently they were not aware until they got the parts pack in from Yamaha, but instead of just replacing the second gear, uh, uh, the second gear, uh, gear itself, um, Yamaha actually sent, uh, there's several gears and there's two different shafts. One shaft meshes the other, I guess the other one meshes with the, since it's like a shaft drive, the other one meshes with that. And the front one engages with the motor off the, uh, off the crankshaft. And basically instead of allowing the mechanics to have 
more of a basically a um, mechanical fail due to human error uh, this bike has two brand new shafts every gear every shaft everything uh, shifter forks and all are all completely brand new so other than the engine casing at least in my case your uh, application may vary uh, depending on if Yamaha does that but I have heard um, read online on some YouTube videos about this recall before I had mine done that uh, depending on where it was I guess in the UK that Yamaha did the same thing on their bike uh, somebody complimented on my bike when I was did a motor vlog to announce the transmission recall as a whole um, so basically the transmission is all brand new uh, except for the casing so that's that's good my bike doesn't have any miles on it, it has almost 14,000 on it as of filming this video um, so by no means where the uh, transmission gears wore out in any way um, but the bike feels flawless I, you can't even tell it's been taken apart there's no uh, misplaced wire and harness everything looks factor ready uh, trust me before I rode it home um, I did thoroughly give it a good once over for at least five or ten minutes just checking fasteners uh, checking coolant levels since I do have to drain the coolant checking oil level stuff like that my particular dealer as because you do have to because uh, wet clutch motorcycles like mine the engine transmission and the clutch all are share the same oil uh, they did change the oil on my bike as well and put a new filter on it so yay free oil change uh, I will probably uh, Mike was my bike was only about five or six hundred miles short of leaving a, needing an oil change that I do myself at three thousand miles I'll probably in about five hundred miles uh, go ahead and change the oil just as a break-in thing for all the new gears and transmission just to make sure everything's okay and that way uh, I know what kind of oil that uh, that I like to run and they just put uh, regular uh, conventional Yamaha Yama lube in it which is fine it, that's good quality oil it's not like it's just barrel oil or whatever uh, but I like to run mobile one full synthetic uh, the same weight as the factory recommends but with a motorcycle wet clutch additive for motorcycles specifically but you know they didn't scratch up my bike uh, there was nothing um, out of place anything like that um, there really weren't hardly any fingerprints on it as most modern mechanics I'm sure were latex or nitrite gloves so uh, I'm very impressed uh, see my bike was there about a week and a half because I did drop it off uh, prior to the mechanic being able to get to it um, he was actually off at Yamaha getting recertified uh, for all the new updates uh, motorcycle mechanics have to do that every year so my bike just didn't go to a shop it went to as I said the Yamaha Mountain uh, Motorsports it's a Yamaha dealer uh, in Greenville Tennessee um, and bikes flawless I can't tell they put all the levers back in the same position you know because I'm sure they did have to take the bars off and all that stuff and God knows what I'll have to take off but uh, I mean even the you know like I said there's nothing out of place no fingerprints no nothing uh, I'm very particular about my stuff especially my motorcycles because it's a safety thing and uh, you know bikes like this are, are pretty expensive so I do take care of my stuff and not abuse it um, I do all my pre-ride checklist stuff uh, at least fluids and tire pressures for every ride uh, regardless of the bike is set for a day or two days or a week or whatever just depend on the weather because or that I couldn't able to ride it but um, like I said I'll leave contact information down the link in the description of the name of the dealer and try to link their website as well um, I'm not sure on the name of the mechanic but if you if you have a Yamaha FJR you could just tell them if you call there um, that you would like to say a mechanic that's done all the R1 transmissions and the service rider there's only one there it's a kind of a smaller dealer so which uh, I kind of like I think you get a more personal experience instead of just be like okay what do you want get out of my hair um, service rider a uh, super nice guy uh, a very helpful um, they rode my bike before I come pick it up um, and I can't say uh, enough good things about them if I had to buy if I had the money right now to buy a new Yamaha motorcycle um, and that would definitely be the Tenere 700 as a second bike I would definitely uh, purchase um, my bike from that dealer they're they're really good people um, you get kind of a mom and pop feel there and I'm, I'm just super impressed and happy um, not only to have my bike back in the garage but be able to ride it again as of you know now it's starting to get towards the end of February it's 54 degrees right now and 
sunshine so pretty decent riding weather uh can't complain being how i rode at home in 37 degrees yesterday you know it was sunny that yeah, was a little chilly but not too bad so on that guys uh just giving y'all a transmission update and uh what i think of the service um i can't like i said i can't tell the bike's ever been apart uh all the old level uh coolant level all that stuff uh is where it should be by factory specs so i'm very impressed and uh just like to give y'all an uh, update on uh, the bike recall as a whole. So thanks for watching guys. If you've not already done so, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment down below if you got any questions. I'll be more than happy to assist you with questions as best of my ability. And on that guys, ride safe, have fun. We'll see y'all next time. See ya.